when you find out you have cancer, it's a... It's a gut punch. Could you think about your family, think about your kids. You, you don't want them to be alone. Cancer is a big word. Chemotherapy is a big word. When you get a diagnosis like this, your perspective on life changes. People say that, but you don't know that until you've been here yourself. This trek in Waterton, Canada, is the inaugural trek for Soul to Soul for NPN. Its purpose and mission is to bring the NPN community together, also to raise money to find a cure and better quality of life during disease. We have a team of 22, 11 from Canada and 11 from the United States. I'm losing weight, it doesn't feel right. I'm like, oh, fatigue, I'm bruising really easily. Well, let's just, you know, do some blood tests, let's see what comes up. Nobody's very concerned. She phones me up, everything's come back normal, looks really good, except for your platelets are quite high. A week after that, I was in the hematologist and they're like, yes, you have this blood cancer. So it was a lot to process. Well, the first thing I did was try to educate myself as much as I could about the disease. My wife went right into research mode. I'm Cheryl Petrick. I'm the founder and executive director of the Canadian MPN Research Foundation. MPN blood cancers consist of polycemia vera, essential thrombocythemia, and myelofibrosis. Polycemia vera is too many red blood cells in your body. Essential thrombocythemia is too many platelets in your body, and they can progress to myelofibrosis. Doctors can look at fatigue and say, oh, you've been working too, too long or too hard, you need to take some time off. They don't immediately go to thinking that it's a blood cancer. A lot of patients have told us that their initial diagnosis was misdiagnosed because general practitioners don't have that understanding or don't know enough about MPN blood cancers. So when I found out about this trek, the most exciting thing for me was like, wow, I'm going to meet other people who have gone through like a similar journey as myself. Never met someone who's been diagnosed with MPN. People think you're crazy when you describe the symptoms. Soul to Soul team seem to understand what you're going through, what's happening. Another reason I'm here is a chance to meet other people. Just learn from their experiences. So maybe I can keep going and maybe inspire somebody else. I've had symptoms and I didn't recognize them as actual side effects until I heard the other patients talking about how they feel, how you hit the wall. To be around other patients where you can share openly, it really was a, an awesome experience. I've only known these people really for two, three days, and I can't believe the, uh, the bond that we formed. It's, it's really quite amazing. Now you're not alone, and that's what this is all about. And in sharing that, it takes the load off our back. Having that camaraderie, having that support network is so vital. There's others who are facing exactly the same thing that you're facing. So it's that validation that, you know what, I'm going to be okay with this disease. This is the real deal. I wanted to empower friends that have had cancer and all my fellow patients. Just super emotional. With MPNs, there has been so much progress that's been made. I think about 2000 when my dad was diagnosed with MF and 
what was available to him at the time and 22 years later what we have available today. And a lot of that is because research that's been funded, programs like this to get the word out and to get funding, you know, this will make a difference. So I, I'm fully committed. <laughs> It's about providing the doctors and our research community the tools that they need to help formulate new opportunities for treatment options for our patients. Money is what it's going to take to find a cure. Our team has almost raised $100,000. 100% of every dollar goes to research. I'm grateful to be the company that sponsors and supports MPNs and the MPN community can't say enough about these tremendous people showing us how to really live, how to live life to the fullest each and every single day. Everything we do at Inside is with the patient first. And I'm in this trip with the idea of meeting patients one-to-one, -to, -one, to have the opportunity of meeting them as an individual, listen to each of them and understand their journey, and see how can I keep helping them today and in the near future. So over here we got some people crossing now and I've read and watched some videos that there's a cable you hang on to and then you go through a cave and if you look over there you come out on the other side and I gotta tell you I feel like a six-year-old at Christmas morning. is a word, a powerful word, but it can't, you can't let that define you, you can't let that word become so powerful that it, it affects you and your life and the things you want to do and how you want to be with your, you know, you live your life. This is amazing, it's pretty uh, spectacular. My objective here is that I want to die with this disease and not because of it. So push through it, push through it, just don't quit. Keep those feet moving, keep your spirits up. Hey baby! Hope is what we all live on. Hope for a better tomorrow. Hope for an opportunity to live a better life. I'm not gonna cry today. <laughs> oh, wow. Unreal. Oh, wow. <sighs> we are at Crypt Lake. This is the cherry on the top of this whole trek. And we're living our best life even though we're diagnosed with something we have no control over. Live your best life. Don't let cancer define you. Soul to Soul for NPN, it really is a family, and we welcome you all to come join and create better quality of life for NPN patients and one day find a cure. Please join us. Soul to Soul for NPN!